Good afternoon. I'm standing here on Pasture Hill Road, literally 0.4 miles from the railway station, which is in that direction. I'm about to show you around number 44, Pasture Hill Road. Uh, Pasture Hill Road, as you can see, it's all made up of mainly three bedroom, terraced and semi-detached houses. The house I'm gonna show you is still the standard house, as is the adjoining. But most of these, if you look down the road, in fact, look at that pair there, you can see they both had two-story side extensions over the garage section and a couple of others to like. Um, so if you've got a budget that's higher than the price we're looking at and you want a big house near the station, then this one is right for you. Wouldn't take a lot if you came here and spent £100,000 on this house by extending over that garage. Uh, you could make this into a four bedroom house quite comfortably. Now the semi-detached houses, as you can see, they're on bigger plots than the terraced houses. I'm sorry, looking into the sunshine here. But you can see some others up the road. So this one is ripe for a, uh, a long-term move. So if you're a young family or a professional couple thinking of starting a family in the long term, then this could uh, tick a lot of, lot of boxes for you. Um, it's been owned by the same family for some time. It does need some general updating, but it's been very well cared for. So let me show you around. As you can see, private driveway here for a couple of cars. You've got a big front garden. So if you wanted a lot more parking, you, you've got that potential. Um, the garage unfortunately is locked, so I can't show you in there, but it's a decent sized uh, single garage. And the house has had a small extension behind. So it's now got a downstairs cloakroom and a little utility room behind the garage, which uh, is not standard. So come inside. Let's close that door. So entrance hall here. Stairs obviously up to the first floor, just the usual cupboard with the electric uh, meters and so on. You've got the double aspect living room with a huge picture window to the front, obviously fireplace there. And you've got patio doors out to the rear garden as well. I'll show you out there in a mo. Kitchen. This has obviously been revamped, but I'm guessing back in the 1990s being that mid oak style. Very handy under stairs cupboard there. A lot of people have made that into a larder. And then this is the non-standard bit. So you've got a little utility room and a downstairs loo. There is, most people have sort of built a porch on the front of these houses. And uh, obviously that would give you your downstairs cloak room there. And then if you wanted to, it wouldn't take a lot to knock this through to make a much bigger kitchen breakfast room. Or some people have gone through that wall into the dining area. I'll take you out in the garden in a moment. We're just backing onto the houses on Harland Road here, so it's a good spot. And then come upstairs. It's all very neutrally decorated. So certainly ready to move into. Upstairs, so the bathroom, that has been revamped at some point with a shower suite rather than a bath, but a decent size uh, shower cubicle there. And as you can see, there's plenty of room there if you wanted to put a bath in there as well. And then the little third bedroom, most people tend to have this as the office. And this is where I've seen with these houses that have been extended, most people have taken a corridor through that bedroom or back over the stairs into the extension. So you could have two bedrooms or a huge master suite on that side. Front bedroom, generous double, whole range of wardrobes in this one as well. And that's looking back through over the cul-de-sac. And then the back bedroom, another nice size double. And that's got the view over the rear garden there. And as mentioned, those are the houses on Harland Road. You've got a cupboard in the corner. That's got your hot water tank in it as well. But as you see, it's all very clean and tidy. It's just a good positive house. This is such a great location. Didn't even tell you how far. But the station, as may have mentioned, is 0.4 miles. Harland's primary school, that's 0.5 of a mile. And the children from this side of town go on to the Walden Park Secondary Academy School in neighbouring Cookfield, which is 1.2 miles. Now there's a proper roadway. Uh, you can't drive through it in a car, but it's a proper road. It's got bollards so the cars don't drive through it that goes through to Cookfield where you have the Walden Park Secondary Academy School. So everything's on your doorstep. The sick form college is around the corner. Bluntswood is up the road if you've got a dog and like to go for a walk. Um, you've got Sainsbury's and Waitrose within a five, 10 minute walk as well. So it's just a very convenient position. And at the bottom of the road, you've got the Dolphin Leisure Centre. So if you know where the Leisure Centre is, you are in Pasture Hill Road. There you go. That is number 44. Hope you got, found that video helpful. If you're seriously looking for something like this, please get in touch with our Hayward Teeth office and ring us on a Sunday. We're there between 10 and 1 every Sunday. And do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.